the only thing that I knew about Alzheimer's before Ray's diagnosis was that it was memory so that people would forget and you know like forget where their keys are forget where their glasses are um, memory is one aspect but it's a lot more than that and that's what's so hard for both the person and the families for example um, language it becomes really hard for them to find the right word and that can be very frustrating and it also can be hard on families because you find yourself filling in their sentences which is annoying for anybody um, and you also then find yourself having to really observe to understand what they're feeling what they're thinking they have the same emotions as every other adult but they can't always express them to you the other thing that was a big surprise to me was visual spatial relationships that's why driving is such a hard time yes people do wander in the later stage of the disease and get disoriented but even before that they don't really have adequate depth perception and they can't always judge the distance between things and so safety is a concern and then another one that's a big one is that inability to carry out uh, things in sequence so they might be able to do the one thing but it's almost like having attention deficit disorder but really advanced which is then they get distracted and so then they can't follow it, follow it out and so that again that goes back to language that they really um, or Ray benefits from simple directions one thing at a time he can do what he wants to do but there does require some breaking it down and task analysis and then some positive pressure and encouragement to keep going.